And we begin with breaking news. A Broward County deputy has been charged with manslaughter for shooting a man who was carrying an air rifle. Let's take you out live to CBS 4's Joan Murray. She's gathering the breaking details on the case. Joan, good afternoon. Good afternoon, and that deputy's name is Peter Peraza, a BSO deputy. He turned himself into the Broward Jail this morning, we are told. He has been charged with manslaughter with a firearm. Let's take a picture of that deputy. Um, again, Peter Peraza, ironically, that is a photo of Peraza as he was receiving in connection with that shooting. He has been charged with manslaughter with a firearm that carries a maximum penalty of 30 years in prison. Let's take you back to when this all happened. It was back in July 2013 that Peraza and other deputies responded to an Oakland Park apartment where a man was said to be carrying a weapon. Deputies say when they got to the scene, they warned that man, Jermaine McBean, to put down the weapon. They say he did not follow commands and they ended up shooting and killing him. Well, for months, Months after this, there was an investigation. The deputies had maintained that McBean heard their commands, and it turned out actually that McBean was wearing earbuds and did not hear that command. Um, that surfaced sometime later. Uh, it turned out that when McBean was taken to the hospital, that is when the earbuds were found in his pocket. Now let's take a look at the picture of that man who died, 33-year-old Jermaine McBean. He was a software engineer. It turned out that it was not a firearm, but rather an air rifle that he had just purchased purchased from a pawn shop and was carrying it home to his apartment in Oakland Park. Back here live. So once again, that deputy, we are told by the BSO office that the deputy Peraza has been suspended with pay. Uh, Sheriff Scott Israel put out a statement and he said naturally that we want justice. Uh, the family wants justice and they will wait for the court system to take its course. Um, as for Peraza, we understand now that he is scheduled for a bond hearing this afternoon. He remains in jail. We're told that bond will be set at $25,000. We'll have much more on this breaking story coming up at 5. Reporting live at the Broward Jail in Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News. All right, Joan, thank you for that live report.